one of Ukraine's kings of the sky. It's an elite club, and Vadim Voroshilov has earned the right to show off a little. He's flown 77 missions since the start of the Russian invasion. He spoke to us from a confidential location. When we are on duty in those operational airfields, we are sitting in our full equipment. Five minutes after a task is assigned, we are in the plane, and in ten, we are in the air. Last fall, Voroshilov steered his burning plane away from a city before ejecting, filming his descent in his parachute. In December, he was awarded the Order of the Gold Star. His wish that Western partners agree to help Ukraine upgrade its fleet. Russian aircraft have rockets with a range of about 75 kilometers. Unfortunately, our rockets have a much shorter range, so we just can't compete with them in the air. The city of Vinitsa is home to the Ukrainian Air Force headquarters, a monument to its presence somehow still standing, even though three Russian cruise missiles hit just near it last July. 28 people were killed and the theater beside it destroyed. Destroy. Colonel Yuri Irnat is the spokesperson for the Air Force Command. He says Ukraine's youngest plane dates back to 1991. And the pilots who perform tasks on these planes every day risk their lives, he says. And they know it and the command knows it. And so the ask for Western fighter jets, F-16s in particular, is asked again. But the response remains mixed. Some NATO countries, including France and the Netherlands, say they'll consider it. Others point to logistical impediments. Voroshilov's response isn't surprising. Bring it on. Ukraine's fighter pilots are fast learners. As for Western fighter jets, I believe and always say that this will be our weapon of victory. It would speed its arrival, he says, and save many lives. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Ukraine.